Hello everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I wanted to do a quick review of the Midwest Scatter Guards. So if you're someone who has a Critter Nation and uses bedding instead of fleece, then you've probably seen these before and you might be wondering if you should get them. And I'm here to tell you that you really don't want to get them because there are a lot of better options out there and I'm going to go over why in this video. Okay, so before I go on to the cons and why I don't really like these, I want to start with the pros just to give them a bit of a fair chance. So the best thing about this is probably the fact that they're very easily accessible and they're relatively cheap. So you know, you can just go online, go to Amazon and um, order them right away. Very easy to get, you don't have to leave your house, you can just order them online, you don't have to make anything with them it's just that easy and it's also fairly cheap at 18 to 20 bucks so the next thing I've heard it being good for and I've actually not used it for this is blocking corners if you use fleece and yeah I know it is totally counterproductive this thing is supposed to help you keep bedding in the cage yet the people who seem to have the most luck with it are using fleece and so the main reason here is that when rats attack fleece and when I say attack I mean chew it but when they decide to go after fleece, they usually go for the corners first. So if you block off the corners, and these things go on the corners, so if you block off the corners, sometimes rats will stop chewing the fleece or not even try to chew it. So I've talked to some people who actually recommend getting these just so that you can block the corners so that the rats can't chew the fleece as easily. I know that's a pretty funny reason, but it is a pro, so I decided to list it on there. So my final pro is the fact that it, well, kind of works for its purpose. I mean, if you put them onto the cage, they are going to block some of the bedding from coming out. The rats aren't going to be able to kick as much bedding out as if you had nothing on the cage, so I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, and if you don't really want to go and find something else that works, then these do a okay-ish job. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the cons, and my first con is that these things are so difficult to attach. So you basically attach them with these little metal clips that are underneath the scatter guards, and you attach these underneath the Critter Nation pan, so it's like it hooks over that weird little ridge thing on the Critter Nation pans. So that's not as easy as it sounds. Like you try to clip them over and they get stuck or they just don't want to push over and it's just very difficult to get them on. And then once you get them on, they're not even that secure. So the next thing I have is the fact that, well, these clips, the little pieces that are supposed to keep these scatter guards on the pan, they break really easily. So that's terrible. I mean, you don't want your clips to just break when someone's trying to put them on, just applying mild pressure. So yeah, that's not a very good thing. And I've heard from other people that they've had the exact same thing happen with it breaking as they're trying to put it on. So finally, my last issue with this is that it's just not very good at its job. I mean, you put on a scatter guard, you kind of expect it to keep in the bedding. Well, this only gives you a little bit extra pan to block the bedding from falling out. And not only that, but the way that it's sloped is just not conductive for stopping the bedding from being kicked out. So for anyone out there who is wanting to use bedding with their Critter Nation, I would highly advise that you avoid these. They're kind of just a waste of money and you'll probably end up doing what I did, which is stashing them in your storage and just getting a different pan for your Critter Nation. So what are the other options other than these Critter Nation scatter guards? Well, one of the easiest options is just going to your local hardware store and getting a large cement mixing pan. Seriously, these things fit pretty perfectly in the Critter Nation. I know I've talked to some people who've just shelved them in there somehow. Personally, I had to cut off around half an inch on either side of my pan to get it in, and it does a great job at keeping in my bedding, so I definitely recommend it over these Midwest scatter guards. Another option you have is to order the Bass Critter Nation pans. Basically, these are metal Critter Nation pans, but they have a few inches of height. So, you know, they can keep embedding. And these are what Midwest should be selling. Seriously, they should have an option to buy these when you get the Critter Nation. But okay, they don't. So this is a great option if you have the funds to buy them. They are a bit expensive, but these bass pans are really great and I will have the site linked down below if you want to check them out. So the next option you have is to, well, make your own pan. Or on the other side, you could just make your own scatter guards. And I know a lot of people have done this using chloroplast. Definitely an option to look into if you don't mind building it yourself. So yeah, that's really all I have for you in this video and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you guys would like more rat care tips or rat trick training tips, feel free to visit my website at www.rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!